guys hear that somebody in, uh, I think it was Georgia, stole $98,000 worth of ramen noodles out of a trailer a couple <laughs> weeks ago. That's like literally the equivalent of 300,000 packages and the cops are still trying to tra track these dudes down. Well, go to like Georgia University or Georgia Tech. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna do with $98,000 worth of ramen noodles? Eat is like there a, a king? Black, is there a black, black market for that? That's what I'm wondering. Like, black is it like the Kanye yeah, man? I got four for a dollar. Aren't they like Yo, I got the chicken anyway? flavor and I got the teriyaki, two for one. I'm First saying, of all, it's not even that good. That's what I'm saying. And like ramen dude. noodles? Yeah. Oh, get dude. <laughs> get out of my car. Dude. Get out of my car. <laughs> get out, dude. 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 Holy. <laughs> That scared me. <laughs> First of all, you never say that about ramen noodles. Ramen noodles are the bomb diggity. Whoa, whoa Ed, we know what it, yeah. are you in on it? Because <laughs> you got real defensive, real fast, dude. Kind of scared you me a little bit there. You guys the really noodles? got scared. No, but honest to God, how could you sit there and say ramen noodles are not good? They are I don't the think they're that good. That's for like college kids and people that are like. You still don't eat them? But never. Like maybe back in the day, I had a noodles and noodles or whatever. But like that was when it was like cold up north and there was nothing else to eat. Well, we know what Ed would do with ninety-eight thousand dollars worth of ramen noodles. He has them in his car. Stack them up. <laughs> but what do you do with all that, though? Seriously. Well, that's a lot. I mean, that that is a lot. What do you do with it? I don't. You have to be unloading it. What is the point of stealing it? Are you going to sell it? That's what I'm saying. Is it and, on Amazon or uh, and even, eBay? Yeah, like, and even still, like you know, the people that sell like the carpets and stuff like that, the rugs on the side of the road, and, and people still like Jack. You never see those people? You know, I've seen them. Yeah. What does ramen that, noodles have to do with rugs, Ed? I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to correlate. I'm trying to explain <laughs> to you. Like, I could see people buying that kind of stuff from somebody, but I would Probably. never buy food from somebody off the side of the road. I mean, would you? No, and that would look suspect if you saw a dude on the side of the road next to the rug man with, like, <laughs> ramen noodles. I got my bag. No, dude. It's like okay. a one-stop shop. We get you a nice house rug, and we get you some ramen noodles. <laughs> Boy, that you, door you, room would look awesome. If <laughs> you could acquire ninety-eight thousand dollars worth of one food item, what would your item be? Oreo Ooh. cookies. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Didn't even take time. Ninety-eight thousand dollars worth of Oreos. Double stuff, though. Have to be double stuff. What about mega stuff? I never had them. There's mega stuff. Really? Which is like almost three creams in the middle. I would think you would know that. You're up on all the snacks. <laughs> Doesn't seem evenly distributed with a. Oh, and it's good though. It's good. You only need like two of them, and you're good. In Ed's case, you may need four. Too much. I, I never understood why people take on Oreos why they take the top off and then lick it and then eat the cookie it's by just itself. The process, man. You started as a kid. Anyways, what would yours be, Ed or Kevin? Um, you know what? I'd probably go with like Nutter Butter. You guys are going straight sweets, not eating well, tons of cookies. I'm gonna go lump crab meat. Okay, you give me the awkward eye, and I'm from Maryland, so crab is like- Lump our, crab meat? Lump crab meat's the mo more expensive because it's like massive chunks of crab as opposed to like a blue crab. How would you keep it fresh? You'd have to have a freezer. A You'd big, never have a freezer that big. Well, they're gonna have to bring it to my house in increments. So now on top of stealing that much crab lump, lump, yeah, lump crab you're meat. gonna need to steal a bunch of freezers yeah, too. Right. Well, we can find them, we know people. Ed. <laughs> I think you need to think more realistic. I'm just saying, it's hypothetical, guys. It's not gonna happen. Like, you're like, well, Greg, I don't know if you're gonna have the right square footage and the right storage space to hold some traps. Where are you gonna put it all? Like, I don't care, Ed. You did really start breaking <laughs> it down. Like, we were, having, well, like, we were in the film room. Your storage units cost, are gonna cost about 40 a month, and then you're gonna have to get refrigerated. And then, so you gotta add that to the phone, and then the side. Don't forget your power side. bill, your power bill. <laughs> it's a damn question, Ed. Jesus. I'm done. Hey, he was right there with me. I'm he was done. telling about you the guys freezers. Are nutter butters and Oreos. I can store them in my garage. I'm thinking. I'm thinking ahead. Well, then I want 98,000 pounds of pixie dust since we're going to play along. Now I can sprinkle on whoever I want. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing on that. All right, all right. Right now, go ahead and like us on Facebook. Follow us anywhere else, and we're on social media.